Hey, Emmy, eyes here. Listen to me closely. You only have one job, downsizing your Final Fantasy collection. Yeah, right. How I managed to downsize from 96 fountain pens from the previous fountain pen collection update today up to 100. Join me in this video and I will show you. One of the best things about this fountain pen collection update series is the fact that I am not feeling that I'm alone in this fountain pen journey of mine. And uh, one of the most interesting things is how I can have one simple job in regards of my Fountain Collection update, downsizing, and I'm going from 96 to 100. So that's a good reason to do a video. And I have a lot of interesting things besides Fountain Pass to show you in this kind of video. So in the last Collection Update video, we had 96 Fountain Pass. Some of them find new owners from my personal fountain collection, uh, primarily the old win, uh, which was a very, very interesting piece. There is a video review for that fountain right here. If you want to check it out in details, that's a custom cracked on the surface Urushi Raden creation and all of that. It found a new home with a new owner and that person received it. The feedback is amazing. It's super happy and I am happy with the fountain pen that I received in trade. I'm gonna show you that fountain pen in a few moments. And also the Nakaya Dorsofin V1. It's found in a new home. And uh, if you want to check the video review of that fountain pen, it's right here. Sailor, Wancher, uh, Japan Blue, new home, new owner, and I'm super, super happy. Well, downsizing didn't hold up for more than a few weeks because I am back to getting a few more interesting fountain pens which I cannot wait to share them with you all. I'm gonna show you some of the other things that I particularly acquired in the last few weeks which I believe are super super nice and I managed to get a ink. Hmm. And this is the Visconti Van Gogh series inks and this is Oiran and uh, to be honest, from the entire series, this is the color that I really, really like because I'm a huge fan of Mont Blanc inks and I do own the one that's from the edition with Anthony de Sa Exuperty and I hope I'm pronouncing that name correctly. It's French, I hope so. At least it sounds like French. And uh, I really, really adore that ink color. And uh, this is the one that's with Oiran from Visconti. And uh, I think they are quite similar. So I took this from the company inventory. Don't tell my accountant. I do this quite often. This will be going into my personal ink collection and I cannot wait to use it in some of my fountain pens and to check the similarity with the uh, ink from Mont Blanc. You will have to wait for that. First pen on the list. Mm. Till we get to that pen, let me show you another thing. So I usually use this kind of uh, pen cases to carry my fountain pens, and I have a rule. If it's Urushi, it's gonna go with one of these hard cases from Breton because I don't want the fountain pens to be touching inside one with the other and all of that. If it's something from resin or other materials, I'm gonna use something like this. And this is something in from Sailor, which I simply adore because it's made out of a very soft leather. It's practical, it's stamped with Sailor. And I don't know if you are aware of the fact that Sailor does pen cases. The three slots it's made for the Romanian market through the Romanian distributor. I'm not sure that you can find it elsewhere besides us internationally. But anyway, it's a very, very nice tool if you want to carry some of your fountain pens safely, three of them. And recently we received something else, which is just as good as this one. A pen case for one, two, three, four, five individual fountain pens. I mean, this is stunning. Zooming out a little bit, you can see some of the details. This is made out of an incredible deep, shiny leather quality, stamped with sailor, zipper, five writing instruments, which are plenty generous in regards of the length 
of the pants that you can fit inside and uh, we can check this with a uh, momento zero grande it's fitting um let's go with uh, i don't know a momento magico that i have right here as you can clearly see it's gonna fit and it goes up to the homo sapiens we had like two of these cases and one it was like from the company inventory is gonna go with me because i do like to carry my fountain pens with me and if we have something which is made out of resin or in the case of that hiroshima uh, sailor fountain pen made out of wood i'm gonna take them in this case with me when i'm traveling so very nice carrying solution we do have only one of this available if you are looking for it go to the pen venture website i'm gonna leave you a link down below you can find it there and i changed my notebook for the very first time i deviated after many 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 years from the use of tomoe river paper i'm a huge fan of tomoe river paper but i know it's not produced anymore we do still have some notebooks with the old tomoe river paper recipe paper is just like FOMO building up so I said let me do something interesting let me go to a different kind of paper and to test it out to see if there is something else out there when the entire Tomo River paper old style paper will be gone let's see if I will have something else to rely on so I picked the Usari notebook from Tatcha this is a 8 millimeter line graph, A5, 96 sheets, made in Japan. Super interesting uh, paper to write on. Uh, it's not white like surgical white, like, like white white. It's a hint of cream, very beautiful, very interesting. It's a collection of paper that's specifically done for fountain pens and it's quick drying it's still gonna show an incredible amount of sheen and i checked it with diamine desert rose my personal exclusive ink with diamine that has green gold sheen it shows it up very very pretty and i like it i like it a lot it is a little bit more smoother than toma river paper uh, i know that may sound a little bit strange because toma river paper is already a very smooth paper anyway this is a touch more smoother and right now i just love to use it with extra fine and fine points it's it's incredible usari collection available on penventure don't tell my accountant i got into the stock inventory and i took it that's it notebook cases inks pens yeah that's next this cute cute thing is my uh exclusive this is the Momento Zero Arabian Nights. This is just launched, 80 pieces, exclusive, like usual. Two of these fountain pens, one in silver trim and one in gold trim, will be staying with me in the company museum. And uh, usually I put them in my personal fountain collection. So I'm gonna update the list down below. 96 and I'm gonna write only one because one will be displayed, one I'm gonna use. So 96, this is 97 fountain pen beautiful material it's a primary manipulation by jonathan brooks two single colors not like three four five ones like other primary manipulation materials bluish purplish color uh, with uh, this incredible gold which is shitoyant there is plenty of sparkles there is plenty of good things to go about this color and it looks stunning i love it i love it i love it so 97 we still have like three more fountain pens i saved the best for my 100th fountain pen of course it's again 100 but anyway it's a three digits number so it should be something very meaningful let me open my case and i'm gonna tell you a little bit more before i'm gonna show you the next pen i'm gonna show you my nakaya dorsal fin v to Kurota Minori. This just recently came back from Nakaya. It had something going on with the converter and I sent it back and I want to show you one small little detail which just recently got on this fountain pen. I think you are suspecting by now what I'm uh, trying to show you. It's a painted Inurushi, I hope it's Urushi, I think it's Urushi, converter cherry blossom flowers 
I mean, this is the sort of detail that only the true fans, die-hard fans of the Fountain community are gonna appreciate. Something that you just simply go and close and no one will see besides you in a fountain pen like a painted converter i like it a lot and uh, since the converter was the deal with this fountain pen i said i'm gonna upgrade to one with uh, a painting on it so um, catherine from shakura fan pen gallery made everything possible and as i got back from my holiday i found this waiting for me anyway i teased it enough let me show you what I got. It's a Leonardo in a custom celluloid. I mean, Leonardo does pretty, pretty incredible things. In regards of celluloid, celluloid is a material that's no longer produced, so if you want to get something in celluloid, probably your best bet right now will be to go with something from Leonardo of Cina Italiana. And if you want to see celluloid heaven, you go on the Leonardo website, official one, you go at special collections, and uh, you pretty much are in celluloid heaven. I mean, God forbid, keep your wallet close to you, your credit card close to you because it's gonna cost a lot, but you pretty much get the very, very best colors of celluloid ever. I don't know how Leonardo does it, where they are sourcing their celluloid. I mean, I know, but that's just between me and them. You can find this incredible celluloid colors that are stunning and I picked out this red marble one with the veins and everything going and uh, I'm a sucker for red fountain dust. I admit, I've seen it, I like it, I bought it. And uh, don't get me wrong, I paid retail on it because I do appreciate their work and I do think we need to support them if they are bringing this stuff on the market. I couldn't be more happy with the outcome. It's a Momento Zero Grande, piston, size 8 gold nib, very, very pretty stub, a red ebonite feeder, which is polished. I like all of the details. Ah, and the aroma of Italian celluloid. <laughs> couldn't be more interesting than this piece and i do like it a lot i ink it up and i cannot wait to share it in a video review if you want to see a video review of this fountain pen to have a better look at the nib how it's writing uh, the pretty colors of this celluloid i'm gonna enjoy it for the few weeks that are in front of me i'm gonna see how it's writing how it's performing and all of that and if you are interested to see a video review of this fountain pen, comment down below and I will be more than happy to do that for you all. Now, let me show you the pen that I traded for the old win, or the pen that I got in trade for the old win. I have to admit, even now, after many years of collecting fountain pens, I still get impressed by some fountain pens and I do change my mind occasionally when a fountain pen is that good and this is one of those cases i may not look like the kind of guy that i would appreciate a bird but i just got my first pelican and it's a stunning m1000 white ray it is beautiful beautiful rodden like i told you in the last video i traded off for something with rodden and this is the piece that i got in the trade for the old one. It's a limited edition of 400 pieces, M1000. Beautiful, beautiful. The colors are stunning. I am not a huge, huge fan of white fountain pens, but in this case, I will make an exception. After getting to use this fountain pen for the past few weeks, all I can say is that I've changed. I'm a changed man. I look forward to getting another M1000. Two-tone, gold nib, medium point. There is something that I want to point out that I don't really like about this fountain pen but I will leave that for the um, review and I will be honest there is something which I deem to find not suiting for such an expensive fountain pen from Pelican I will leave that one for uh, the, the review that's gonna be coming soon thank you so much for the former owner of this fountain pen phenomenal job I like it a lot it arrived safe and it was waiting after my holiday for me to just indulge in it and I did so. I admit, if my calculation is spot on, we are at 99 fountain pens. The 100th one, it will be one that's now on loan, but I am waiting on the entire collection to arrive in our inventory. 
but I'm gonna show you that fountain pen anyway because this is on loan as an identical piece like the one that I'm gonna show you will reside in my personal fountain pen collection. This one right now, I need to send it back to the manufacturer. It's a Leonardo Supernova Bohemian Twilight. Beautiful, beautiful fountain pen, incredible colors, silver trim. I don't know why, but for this one, I picked out the silver trim and this is a thing of beauty. So many good things to go about this fountain pen. I cannot wait to show you a video review soon for this fountain pen. I do have one of each trim on loan to be showed off and then sent back to Leonardo. And uh, I cannot wait to just simply have my rhodium supernova show up in a matter of few weeks one or two weeks from now i like this fountain pen a lot so 100 fountain pens downsizing yeah that's that's something that i still need to work on this is how it looks right now my personal fountain pen collection 103 digits again and uh, we are moving into some of the most interesting things yet to come on pan adventure as an exclusives you need to stay tuned because I do have some pretty interesting ideas for fountain pen exclusives that no one did them till now. You will like them a lot. Let me know what you think about my collection updates. Uh, let me know if you have questions, suggestions, anything. Leave them in the comment section down below. I will be more than happy to get into a conversation with you all. Answer all of your questions, your suggestions. Tell me if this is something that you like or if you don't. Don't forget to just simply scroll down a little bit. You'll find the details for our website. If you're looking for an next writing instrument, you can get it from Penventure and I'll be more than happy to help you with that. Also down below, you'll find the list of my entire Fountain Pen collection updated to this specific date. You can go there and you can check what I own at this very moment updated. Super happy, very excited. Cannot wait to try this Fountain Pens to record more video reviews for you all. For now, I think that's it. Thank you for joining me in this video. Thank you for spending this time on the Penvetra YouTube channel. I do appreciate this a lot. If you find this video fun and useful, and if you want to support the growth of the Penvetra YouTube channel, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. This will help me a lot. My video will reach out to many more passionate individuals just like you who can enjoy this content as well. If you are not subscribed yet to the Penventure YouTube channel, consider subscribing right now. It's no more than one click away. Just click there, turn the notification bell on, and you will be notified whenever we have new content. If you want to continue watching my content, I'm going to leave you this video right here. You can click and enjoy. As always, I'm your host, Amy from Penventure. I look forward to seeing you next video. Take care, stay safe, bye bye.